Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. On December 30th, 2015, my friends and I decided to cook and feed the homeless in Toronto. I first approached them with the idea as a way of giving thanks and giving back. They were more than willing to help. I was able to get a few of my friends to donate to the cause and also help me cook the meals. It was such an amazing experience. We met many amazing people on this journey. If you would like to see how it all took place, starting from the meal prep down to the handing out of the food, then keep on watching.
Aiden. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 We did it, guys. Not Queen L. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> We're all packed up and ready to oh, go. Right. I know, I that's what I kept thinking. Line, yeah, someone should hold it in the. No, do we even have space to I be holding? Okay. So, we are on our way. Hi, guys. Hey. Wow. Are you guys serious? Okay, you want to start again? <laughs> yeah, we're going to do this again. Yellow, yeah, exactly. Yellow. Okay, we're on our way to go feed the homeless now. Hi guys. Hey! Okay, and basically we're kind of like, um, we don't know what to expect. It might be because I was watching some videos and some homeless people actually say no to you, so I'm kind of nervous on that. Mm. But we're just kind of excited all the way. It doesn't really matter the outcome, the fact remains that we're doing this you know we are so we'll let you guys know how it goes at the end you know any obstacles or whatever that we experience or any people that meet the stories that we get to listen to we am excited and we will talk soon bye guys Two bags for this location. And we need water. Yeah, I was gonna put water. Faith, can you hold this for a second, please? Let me just put my phone on. Okay. I was gonna put some water on the gravy um thing. We should have brought another bag for water. That wasn't so smart now, is it? So let's go. Yeah. I'm so nervous. Me too, I'm excited and nervous all at once. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Prince, come here. I'll treat you good, eh? First, I'll treat you well, eh? <laughs>
for now. And then we can pour some gravy on top and we can go grab forks for you. Um, a bottle of water as well if you want. Oh, it's yeah. it's, it's really, really yummy. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What kind of background from that? I'm Nigerian. Nigeria. Yes. Aww, it's the same. <laughs> That's all I know. That's literally all I know. Yes. Are you Nigerian? You're from Nigeria? I'm not Nigerian, but I know Nigeria. Oh, I'm Igbo. Yes. Anambra. Anambra State. Yes. Because I've been staying in Nigeria for 10 years. Wow. What part did you stay? Oh, St. Kano State. State, so that's um outside yeah. people. Yeah, and then I come down to Benue State. That time, up to Umu State. Okay, so basically we um we're gonna hand out like the last like five places that we had, mm -hmm. and um a fight just broke out between them. Let's go back. Um, it's quite devastating. Cause someone just got really beat up and it was one of the people we actually gave food to but we're gonna go over still to try to hand out the last five um we'll let you guys know how it goes but so far so good though like we met amazing people which they were pretty cool so it was pretty awesome in reflecting on the day I just loved how happy they were and how they automatically thought, you know, what church can we get a hold of you guys from when, you know, it was just a group of friends wanting to do something special or something nice for some other people. So, you know, I like that they wanted to keep in touch. I like that they wanted to know where we could, where they could find us and, it was really, it was really such a good experience and doing it together with my friends, you know, made it all the better. If there's one thing that I could say about Operation Feed the Homeless is that it was a very humbling yet rewarding experience. I feel like in the whole process, we had more to gain than they did. Um, it was about sacrifice. It was about taking time out of your own day to do something nice for somebody else. And I think throughout the whole process, not only did they feel the love, but we also felt the love too. To see the smiles on their faces, to see how happy they were that people were willing to take the time out of their days and just chat with them and get to know them. I think um, that was definitely my favorite part about the whole thing. Um, yeah, loved it. It was great. Being a part of Operation Feed the Homeless was a great experience for me. It's a very humbling experience for me. Um, I really enjoyed my time and all the effort and all the fun I had in preparing the meal and going out there and spending time with uh, the people we gave it to and just laughing and just talking about things. I really enjoyed it and it's definitely something I will do again. This whole experience was just such an empathetic one. It just helped me understand people, get to relate to them, get to understand and talk to them. Because when we're just going about our day and we tend to see those people just on the street or, or waiting for a shelter, for a bed, for a roof over their head, we tend to not understand what they're really going through. But being able to do this just helped understand their stories, knowing that everyone's stories are all different and they're all trying to make a better life out of everything and when i witnessed the fight that happened it broke my heart because i just put my family like what if it was my big brother that was in that situation how would i feel it was just very 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 humbling that's for sure and um, i will do this all over again in a heartbeat and thank you so much to all my friends that helped me make this happen i love you guys so 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 much God bless you all.